Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out RockBinalCoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out TourneyCrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we've got the next episode of the Pack and Play series and per usual, like I've been saying, if you guys continue to get 1,000 likes on every single one of these videos, I will continue to drop two episodes of Pack and Play a week. So I gotta see 1,000 likes, I'll drop two episodes of a week of course with this Pack and Play series. Now at the time of recording this video, I'm about 400 subscribers away from 100 thousand subscribers so i don't know how close we are but i want to say thank you guys very much for all the support uh, i'm not exactly sure what time this video will be going up but maybe just maybe we're almost there or possibly there i'm not sure but it'd be pretty cool uh we get a 66 to 69 pack here we actually do get a leonard williams power up so i guess we can use him i actually don't know who my current left end is so we might actually use that uh, 66 to 69 pack and put some good use to it there with that Leonard Williams. We also get another silver player here. I'm just going to do all these exchange sets. This is from all the packs that I had. Just players, silver players, gold players, whatever I had. See, minor, minor. Went ahead, turned them into exchanges as we get a 70 overall right guard there. So we don't need that. We're just going to go take that. Add it straight to an exchange. Now, we do already have one elite player pack to do. So hopefully, we'll get power up. Fletcher Cox. Okay, that's pretty solid. So again, another defensive attack that we could potentially use, or another defensive player in general we could potentially use, because I think Fletcher Cox has the Mud Hero card, so that's actually not bad. We get a 72 cornerback. You guys already know we do not need any sort of cornerbacks. So we're going to go ahead and throw him to the set. 70 to 74. Please give me something good. I was just really hoping for power-ups here. 74 free safety. Yeah. Yeah, don't really need that either we get another 75 to 79 though i will gladly take a right tackle or a center of badly need one of those and we actually get a kicker but i just remembered i have the janus newer now so i really don't need this card we're gonna go ahead and add that into the 80 to 82 and maybe just maybe we'll have enough to do two 80 to 82s and maybe an 80 uh 384 as he does 77 outside linebacker i already know we definitely do not need that we have got so many good outside linebackers on the team we have Whitney Merciless we got Brian Burns as we get a 78 corner again I already know my secondary is completely elite as there we go we get another 80 to 82 that's nice to see final 75 to 79 give me a right guard halfback TJ Yeldon obviously don't need TJ Yeldon we have got Tariq Cohen now so let's go ahead and get these two 80 to 82 overall elite player packs here we're gonna get a team of the week poll 82 James Bradbury. You guys already know we already have James Bradbury, so I'll get to the exchange set. And we do get an 83 to 84, so that's very nice to see. Please give me someone I can use, man. A right tackle. Who is it? 81 left guard. Do I already have a left guard? I'm pretty sure that I've already got an elite left guard. So I may just end up quick selling this card. Let's see. Oh no, I don't actually. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, throw him into my lineup, and then we'll add this 79 into an exchange set. So I just figured I would kind of have an issue here. So this is kind of weird. My center is Dalton Risner. I just pulled left guard Dalton L Risner. It's a little bit weird. So we're going to have to go ahead and put Foster actually at center. And then we're going to have to put Risner at left guard. So that was a little bit weird. But now let's get into the 83-84 overall lead player pack. I badly need a right tackle or center. And we get 84 Fitzpatrick. Really? We already have Aikman, and I've used this Fitzpatrick card before. He is so bad. So instead of adding to an exchange, we're just going to quick sell him for 700 training, and let's get into the gameplay. Looking to take your game of Madden 20 to another level? Check out Hot Route Tips and get access to ebooks, tips, and schemes from Madden Pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. Well, you guys saw my opponent's team, and it's obviously very, very good. So I'm a little bit worried here for something he can do, as I think he was just usering on his defensive lineman. Third and 13, let's see if we can pick up a first down here. My opponent's got some pretty solid defense, and I think A might get open. Can we fit it in there? Alshon Jeffrey, great catch. Second and seven, let's try to run to the left side here with Tariq Cohen. Hopefully, we can just block LT, which that definitely did not work. Tariq Cohen, picking up a gate of four. Third and three, Marvin Harrison. Can he get open over here on this corner route? I don't think so. And he's using over the middle, but he's using a DT. I can throw it right at him. 
Not really sure who I'm going to look for here, but I might just try him down the seams to Eric Ebron, which I think we actually might have him. Eric Ebron for the touchdown. Let's go. So just like that, we're up 7-0, but I am extremely scared of my opponent to be running the ball because obviously we don't have much block shit. Okay, defense, I need you to step it up here. Watch out for these slants. He's actually got Peyton Manning, so I'm not really too worried of him to scramble as I just completely whiffed on the tackle. Gotta watch out for the run game, of course, as I'm almost sure he's probably gonna run just the right side, maybe like a stretch play or something. And actually, no, it is gonna be a pass, and that's gonna be a sack for Everson Griffin. That's our first sack of the game, so if we happen to get one more sack, we, of course, do get a pack here. I'm really trying to get like an interception or something, watching out over the middle, and he threw, oh, he threw it right at me. He threw that pass, like, right at me. Third and four, though. Let's see if he's going to go to actually a play action. I was kind of expecting a run there. And that's going to be incomplete. Defense, I need you to step it up right here. Fourth and four. Can we stop him? I feel like he's just going to throw, like, a little corner out or something. And watch out for the little zig. Watch the corner. Uh, are you kidding me? Yeah, he just got lucky as crap. Because that definitely should have been the interception for me. And that might have even been a pick six. If I could have just kept running with Devin Bush. That is... So lucky. That was honestly so freaking lucky. Let's see if he's going to go back to the run game, though, or if he's going to try to pass it again. Man, at least I know we can stop him if he tries to pass the ball, but running the ball is just too hard. Second and inches, he's going to be going to the run game again. It's going to be a toss play, and he barely got the first down. I'm just trying to get another stop here, and I think he's kind of figured out that he can just continuously run the ball, and there's not really much I can do to stop it. Please, defense, I'm going to send an all-out blitz here because I'm almost pretty positive this is going to be another run. And actually, no, it's going to be a pass. Watch out for the slam. That's a touchdown. He went from what should have been an interception and possibly a pick six to scoring a touchdown because I can't stop the run, and he just got a fumble. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very rough game for us. I can already tell. Hopefully, we can get someone open here on this play as I think Y might get open. Wow. All right, well, I'm going to be honest here. I really did not expect Ramsey to try and play that corner out. Thought he would go under, so I threw it, like, before the cut. So now he got an interception, and I'm probably going to get ran on all day by Saquon Barkley. Saquon is getting into the end zone. This is going to be bad. Well, let's continue to try to run the ball, even though I know it's not going to work. And also, passing the ball doesn't seem to work out too well. Tariq Cohen, though, breaking free. Do we have the speed? Tariq Cohen's going to take this one all the way to the house for a 60-yard TD. Oh, also, I forgot to mention me and Dom are about to start doing this. I want you guys to comment down below in the top two comments in terms of, like, likes on me, I guess, like, the top two like comments. Give us challenges to do that can earn us extra packs. And we're going to be doing those challenges in the next video, of course. So something like get 70 rushing yards with your QB or get 50 rushing yards with your QB. Uh, and if we complete that challenge, then we get an additional pack. Don't do anything, like, too crazy, but... Just give us some extra challenges to do so we can earn another pack, as that is our second sack, and that will give us another pack. We've got him backed up to second and 20 now, and he actually is going to be running the ball here. Kind of a weird play call, but again, when you have Saquon Barkley and a down and O-line, I guess why not? I don't see why he wouldn't run here on third and six, which actually he doesn't. He goes to a play-action pass. Watch it out right there. Devin White! Dude! Can someone at EA please tell me how to play better user defense? Because you can't play better than I just did right there. I'm standing right where the ball is going to be, and I get no animation. That should have been such an easy interception. And, again, this is the second time this dude's gotten bailed out on things that should have been picked. Third and inches. If he throws right at me and he, did, he gets the catch, I thought he caught that. Fourth and inches. Can we stop this guy? I know he's going to QB sneak it. He gets it. All Peyton Manning has to do is reach his forehead out, and he'll get the first down there, so not really much I can do to stop that. He's only got a minute left, too, so if he's going to take all the time in the world and then try to score a TD and give me nothing, he might just do so. Throws the flats, and that's intercepted! Justin Simmons with the interception! We actually might get caught by Tyreek Hill. Please don't catch us. Justin Simmons taking this one back. Thank you. Finally. We should easily be winning this game, in my opinion. I think we could have stopped him on every single drive. We had... The interceptions that weren't interception thankfully we just got the pick six there if i was him i'd probably run the ball in this scenario so i'm kind of expecting to run and actually no it's not going to be a run watching out with the flats i really don't see anything open he's giving around someone we get the sack that's a turnover that's another pack so we are now to six packs it's third and four i don't really know where i'm going with the ball in this play but hopefully someone will get open b looks like he might be to the outside that was probably a bad read Crap, Marvin Harrison, please get the tackle. Do not let him pick six us right before half, man. Can someone tackle him? Dang it. Of course, I tried to make a bad read, and of course, pick six. 
Third and six, we already know he's gonna go to like an out route or something, and actually no, looks like he's got some corners and some in routes. Please, Deion Sanders with the interception. Deion, this better be a pick six. I'm looking for a house call. Deion Sanders, pick six. Make that eight packs. And my opponent just paused the game. I don't think he's gonna rage quit. He actually did rage quit. I don't know why you would quit that game, but we ended up coming with the W. He definitely had a very, very good team. We get one for the win, one for the rage quit. We got 10 total packs. We've got 10 packs to go ahead and open up. We are now 2-0 in this season. We completely blew out uh, the first person that we played in this season. But of course, playoff wins will help us out with getting more rewards. So we've got 10 packs to go in and get into. So we have two special packs right now. So we have to do the cheapest pack in the store that guarantees us an elite, which... I don't really think any pack does, so I guess we're just going to have to do the all pro packs. So we're going to go ahead and do two all pro packs, and then we will also get into 10 get a gold player packs. Now also, in episode number 10, which is the next one, I think, as long as we get the timing somewhat right, as we get an 81 Brandon Williams, I believe that me and Dom will be playing in that game, so we'll have to see, in case you guys are new, 85 Ronald Darby, okay, I'll take that, that's pretty solid. Uh, it's a pretty good cornerback number three, I guess, for cornerback four. Nice little pull right there. Definitely, definitely will take that. Uh, but if you guys are unaware of what happens when we face each other, basically, whoever loses the game, I get to, like, say I beat Dom, I get to take one player off his team, and he has to trade it to me. So there's a lot on the line as he gets 79 Carl Joseph. Don't really care for that card. 73, 72 center, and haha, -ha, Clinton Dix. I already have a better uh, center right now, currently. Not even that center, but a different one. So unfortunately, all pro packs, not that big of a help, but we have got 10 get a go player packs to get into. And also, I may just end up quick selling everything we pulled today. And using it for training and just using that training to buy like a heavyweight pack or something because we can actually do that. So that'd be pretty nice. Let's get into these 10 get to go player packs though. I just have to keep track of how much training we actually have because I had to go buy some training to go ahead and upgrade uh, Deion Sanders. So because he got like that free upgrade or whatever, which I don't think really anyone deserves an upgrade today. Deion had a pick six, which was pretty nice. Actually, did Deion have two picks? I can't remember Deion had two picks. If Deion had two interceptions and one of them was a pick six, I think that kind of deserves him to be upgraded. Comment down below if I should get Deion Sanders upgrade. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait. I can't do that because his upgrade is actually a full legend as we get 81 Marvin Harrison there. But I just remember that Deion uh, actually has a Mutt 10 player. So, yeah, that, that's... That's not going to happen. He ain't getting upgraded for a while. Unless we get like a power or a pass or something, which I guess truly wouldn't be fair. So we're not going to be doing that. 73 Shelby Harris, back-to-back -back packs. What are the odds? Final couple going to go player packs here. 74 Chris Ivory. Just give me a right tackle, man. That's literally all I need is a right tackle. Just give me a right tackle, please. We get 74 Jerome Baker. Just give me like an 84 right tackle. It's legit all I want. End it off with a 75. Okay, so quick selling everything plus 84 Champ Bailey, which we're no longer using on the team, gives us 1,832 training. So we have actually got 2,911 training points to go ahead and use. We don't have 3,800 because we had to go buy and buy some, but this means we can use these on any packs we want. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do one heavyweight pack to end off this video trying to get a right tackle, man. I don't even know if there actually is a heavyweight right tackle. But we do get the right tackle, Demore Dotson. Let's go. That is beyond clutch. That's literally exactly what I was looking for here. That helps my team immensely. My old line, that's like the one big hole and center, of course. But now we have actually got a new right tackle here instead of Jawan Taylor. We have now got Demar Dotson. Big time upgrade now to an 83 overall but you guys can see the team now we have got demar dotson at 88 overall uh we didn't really make any upgrades team besides that but honestly not too bad and ronald darby hope you guys enjoyed the video though and if you did make sure you guys drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button down below also let me know should i use fletcher and leonard williams power ups and try to get those cards up or what should i do hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys next time